make a snitch turn the roof with a flick of the red. What's up, YouTube? I'm out here with the purple people leader because I have a couple of errands to run and I have owned this bike for a year now. So, how do I feel about it? I love this bike. It's got plenty of power. I did change the sprocket on the front. I put a 15 tooth sprocket on it and it turned it into a wheelie bee. stretched out like I am on the R1 because the seat's so much longer on the R1 it's about two and a half inches and it makes a huge difference when you're a short guy okay I'm not completely stretched out and I'm all the way at the back of the seat I can't do that on the R1 speed on this is only about 160 with a 15 tooth sprocket on it but it'll get there in a pretty big hurry let's turn that idle down a little now she's starting to warm up she wants to idle high yeah this bike's got plenty of get up and go it'll probably run a low 10 second quarter mile with me on it somebody that rides better than I do this bike may get in the night it had a fresh top end on it when I bought it that's why I bought it. And it's been a great bike for me. I did a lot of work on it. Put new wheel bearings in it, new tires, new brakes, new brake lines, new chain sprockets, you know. super heavy I think it comes in like 450 pounds stock wet but this is 1995 first gen fire blade and these 900 motors if you're doing the maintenance on them you, you really can't kill them Honda's been making 900 motors for a long time. I know I had a CB900 for a long time. Great bike. Okay, we already know 
Well, this isn't going to outrun a Dixer 1000. I don't care. I don't race. I'm out here to ride my ride. Enjoy my time. Just have fun. As far as the bike goes, you can look at any of the, the videos on my channel with this bike. And a lot of times you'll see me hanging off the side of this thing to try and keep the bike more upright going through a corner. And that's not because I'm trying to be street rossy. I learned to ride a street bike riding Harley Davidson. And at 15 years old, I was a little skinny kid. And I wasn't I wasn't big enough to make those things turn. Now back in the 1980s, bikes were a lot heavier. And you couldn't lean them over near as far without dragging them.
I bought this motorcycle for $3,000. Now, the downside of that is, if you want electronic babysitters, this doesn't have any. There's traction control, wheelie control, all of that is right here. Boom, boom. It's all on you. Analog. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> 